This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. What's the use of having great photos if you can't find them when you need them? A very quick and easy tool you can use to sort your photos is keywords. Unlike ratings or albums, keywords can be applied to any image and it allows you to describe the content or the theme or the feel of an image. Keyword tags are added in the Organize tab in the Keyword Tags section. You'll notice that Adobe gives you several keyword tags to start with. For example, there's a People tag. There's also, inside, underneath the People tag, a Family and Friends tag. People is a category. The two tags inside of it, Family and Friends, can then be applied to your images. Now, I have several images here of my daughter Lauren, and I'd like to very quickly apply the family keyword tag to her. So I can simply click on the family keyword tag and drag and drop it onto any image. You'll notice now that a couple things appear. One, the symbol for the keyword tag appears on the image very quickly and then vanishes. But in the lower right corner of the image tile, you'll see the little keyword tag icon. And if I hover my cursor over it, it'll say that the family keyword tag is attached. That's always fun and easy, but what if you wanna tag multiple photos simultaneously? Well, in this case, you can select multiple photos in your organizer by holding down the Shift key and simply drag one of those photos and drop it onto the keyword tag you wish to apply. In this situation, they all apply very rapidly and everyone's happy. This is probably the most convenient technique for applying a keyword tag to multiple images simultaneously. It can be a bit of a drag if you need to do everything one at a time. I'm gonna add the keyword tag family again to the photo of Lauren and Dora. So it's quick, easy, no problem whatever. Now the pre-built keyword tags can be very helpful, but you know, I'd really like to add a more specific tag. I'd like to add one that allows me to keyword tag images that have my kids in them. And I'd like to add it underneath, inside the family tag. That's no problem whatsoever. I've had the family tag selected, highlighted in the keyword tag section ever since I started applying it. Happens automatically. You click on something, it becomes active. I'm going to go to the Create New Keyword Tag Subcategory or Category button. That's the enormous green plus sign in the Keyword Tag section of the Organize tab. And I'm going to choose New Subcategory. I'm going to name the subcategory Kids. Because I had the Family tag active when I chose the Create Subcategory option, it automatically wants to add the Kids category to Family. Now technically you could change that and every other category that appears in the keyword tag section already is listed on the dropdown list. But family really is where I wanted to put this so I'll just keep it on family and click okay. And now I have kids listed as a subcategory for the family category. I'm gonna very rapidly select the images that I've already applied the family tag to, that's Lauren and Dora. I'm gonna hold down my command key. This allows me to select images out of sequence. For our Windows users, you would hold down the control key. Remember, when selecting images in the organizer, shift selects images that are next to each other, that are sequential. Command or control for our Windows users allows you to select images that are out of sequence, that are non-sequential. Once again, I have all six images selected. I'm gonna click on one of them, any one of them at all, and drag them to the Kids tag. Now, when I hover over any of the keyword tag icons in the lower right-hand corner of the preview, you'll notice that Kids and Family are now both attached. Keyword tags are an excellent way of finding and sorting your images. You can search images based on keyword tags. I'm gonna right-click on the Kids keyword tag and I'm gonna choose new search using kids subcategory. And it's gonna isolate 
in the organizer, only the images with that keyword tag applied. I'll click Show All. If you prefer not to right click, you can click on the icon, the empty square field to the left of any keyword tag. This is the same thing. This is a new search based simply on that keyword tag. Once again, I'm going to click Show All. If you'd like to delete a keyword tag, simply highlight it and click the minus sign, the red minus sign. This will delete the sub keyword that you currently have highlighted. I don't really want to do that now, so I'll simply not click the gigantic red minus sign. One of the ideas behind the organizer is that it should be quick and easy and efficient to find and work with the images you are looking for. Keyword tags are an essential part of working here. They allow you to very rapidly assign keywords based on anything you like to your images and then sort images based only on those keyword tags themselves. Lots of fun. Now, I want to add one more keyword tag. We have several categories that are already preloaded, but I'd like to create a new one. So I'm going to choose New Category. The category name I'm going to choose is Cityscapes. And I get to choose a category icon. Well, there are a lot of icons you could choose from. One of them, right here, looks like a little building. I like that. That's going to be the icon. You can also choose a color for the category by clicking the Choose Color button. This opens a color picker where you get to choose the hue, the actual color. I like blue. And then you can pick the saturation and value of a color by clicking in the large color area. I like a light blue. That's nice. I like that. But you can choose any color you like. If you're familiar with color theory with color formulas, the program allows you to insert HSB, hue, saturation, brightness color values, RGB color values, or even hexadecimal code to pick your color. But I'm a very visual person, so I just like using the visual color picker itself. And I'll click OK. Back in the Create Category section, now that everything has been filled out, I'm going to click OK. That gives me a new Cityscapes category. I'm going to scroll down my slider a little bit until I find the photos of the LA buildings. These are the same ones that we added into the LA Pictures album previously. I'm just going to select all four LA buildings, LA from ground level, and LA Opera House and LA from the air. I held down Shift so I could select all four of them simultaneously, and I'm going to drag and drop them onto the Cityscapes keyword tag. And you'll notice now the little icon for the category appears right next to the icon for the album. So you can add both. So together, they provide an even more powerful set of tools for organizing and finding and viewing your photos, which is really what it's all about, working with your photos, giving you more and more powerful tools so that you can find and work with what you need to.